my name is Juan Morel. Um, I want to talk a little bit about my training video with Phil Heath. I learned a lot. It was an awesome experience to train with Mr. O. I kind of was a little off for that video. You know, I had a lot of troubles with my joints, my knees, my lower back, so I wasn't 100%. Next video I do train legs and show you guys will be a much better video. You know, my strength and form and everything will be 100%. Um, plus, it was um, a lot of kind of um, new things that I never tried before. You know, I was open to trying and, you know, it was a good experience. Very, you know, um, I learned a lot, you know, from Mr. O. And what I can say is that FSC 7 kicked my butt. <laughs> it was hard. From his training, what I, I am going to use a little bit more volume. And I've been, since I've been training since then, I've been, you know, just doing a little higher reps and getting more of a pump instead of, you know, going as heavy. I haven't been going as heavy as I normally go ever since I've been training with Phil, just trying to try something different. I mean, I will be going back to lifting heavy again, just, I mean, I'm still lifting heavy, just not as heavy as I'm used to. I haven't been, I haven't passed um, 500 pounds on the squats, you know, and barely even went to 500. I've been staying with four or five. And, you know, within the next few weeks after, put this routine into play for a few weeks just enough to give it a chance to see any difference I will go back to lifting heavy just on the squats and on the leg presses I will keep it at high reps and you know I have tried the FSC 7 again since you know since then I think like about twice in two workouts and you know it's great you know um, you feel a really good pump. I mean, it's hard because you have to rest like 30, 40 seconds in between sets. So you have to really mentally be there. You know, the first time I tried this, you know, after I trained with Phil, I was only able to get six. By the time after that, I was able to get the seven sets. You know, um, it's hard. FSC seven is hard. But um, I'm definitely um, going to give it a couple of more workouts before I go back to heavy training. Okay, um, a lot of people always asking me questions, you know, send, you know, when they see my Twitter or my Facebook, why do I eat what I eat, you know, how many calories I eat a day, I have no idea, I really don't count calories, I know it's really, really, really high because, you know, um, I eat a lot of fast foods, I, you know, I mean, I don't eat clean because for my body, it just, I mean, I'm not going to say it doesn't work, high protein actually works for me, but you know, in order for me to see some dramatic gains, I have to just eat tons and tons of calories. You know, I, I don't get fat, so I don't have to worry about that. I mean, this is my off season is the fattest I've been, and I still have abs. So, um, you know, something different that I've been doing from last year in this off season is actually just eating a lot of carbs before going to bed. Before I see just, you know, either it would be a oatmeal, slow digesting carbs, or no carbs. It would just be like, you know, chicken with you know, with almonds or something like that. So last year I used to incorporate more clean eating, you know, at my last meal. Always ate my McDonald's every day. You know, I still do pizza, ice cream. A lot. My girlfriend's been cooking, baking for me a lot. So almost daily she bakes for me. I've been eating um, all types of chocolate chip cookies, oatmeal, brownies, you know, and this is daily, you know what I mean? I wake up and I eat my meal with baked goodies. Um, so why do I do that? Is it the right way? No, it's not. I'm not trying to say for other people to do it. It just works for me to put on the weight. You know, if I don't eat like this, I honestly would just maintain a stable weight and I would just walk around like if I'm ready to compete year round, which, you know, I don't want to do that. I'm trying to grow and I'm trying to compete against these mass monsters that I will be going against. So I have to, you know, eat high calorie, you know, dense meals. Well, this off season, what I'm doing less, what I'm doing is compared to last year, last year I did in the off season cardio maybe three to four times a week. And this time around, and it will be like 30, 40 minutes last year. You know, this time around I'm actually doing, skipping some weeks when I'm not doing no cardio. Now I'm doing two to three times a week, you know, if I get to it, and I'm doing about 20 minutes to 30 minutes. You know, when I do do it, really low intensity. So, you know, actually I keep the cardio in just for my cardiovascular health because I do want to be healthy. I mean, I eat a lot of, you know, fast foods. So somehow, some way I want to keep my heart healthy, you know. So I figured, you know, at least a minimum of two to three times a week, you know. But um, 
like I said, I mean, I'm just doing a lot less this year. Last time around, I did three to four. This time, about two to three, and some weeks, none. I mean, I've actually gone a few weeks where I haven't done it, but um, don't like the way I start breathing too heavy, so I incorporate it back in. Um, I want to thank Steve Weinberger for letting me train at the gym and giving me good advice. I always come to him, and he gives me great advice. Um, I want to thank Flex Magazine for the support. Um, you know, for pushing me for the New York Pro and making sure that I get the right publicity. And I want to thank Dave Palumbo, my coach. You know, he's the best, in my opinion, and he, you know, caters to me and, you know, handles my prep very well. And I want to thank my family, my mother, my father, my daughter, which I love. Um, I want to thank my girlfriend for helping me achieve my goal, which, you know, I'm going to get up to 280 because of her baking. It's going to be a great year, and I look forward to seeing everybody at the New York Pro, and hope, you know, I could bring a great package where, you know, I could do very well at that show, which is my plan. I plan on being at least 245, 250 is my goal weight. I'm really aiming for 250, so let's hope for it. Um, this is the biggest I've been so far, and I'm just hoping to bring a better package than last year.